In exercise 4, question starts from section D in your textbook page number 180. Question number 9. The following time series shows the daily production of a factory. Find the trend using graphical method. For this, the days and the production has been given which has been turned to time. This is one and the same. So now time is going to be display on the x-axis and the production will be display on the y-axis. For looking at the production, just look at the minimum number, minimum value of the number that is 21 and the maximum here we can see is 27. So here I started the number from 20 till 30. Don't forget to write down the scale. On x-axis, I kept the 1 centimeter for day for showing the days and the y-axis 1 centimeter 1 unit of production. So first we'll mark for time 1 the production is 21, for 1 the production is 21, for 2 the production is 22, for 3 the production is 23, for 4 the production is 25, for 5 production is 24, for 6, production is 22. For 7, production back to 25. For 8, the production was 26. So, which will go over here with the marking of 6 and the 8. And with the production of 9, it will go to 27 here then for till the production uh, time 10 production go till 26 so now no it's a 25 here come till 26 so the, here I draw the original series where just you have to put the free hand movement now just take the scale till the beginning and ending and put the one straight line to show the trend so here the straight line which weighs the trend and the freehand movement joining the lines the dot which we have drawn that as original series or the time series moving to the next question question number 10 which is given on your page number 180 fit a linear equation from the following data for variable y of the time series for the for to find out the linear equation, the information is given that is n is 4, sigma y is 270 and sigma t y is 734. First check with the what formula will go with the linear equation. Here the formula is y cap is equal to a plus b t. Now for this first step we will find out b. The formula for b is n sigma t y minus sigma t into sigma y and sigma t square minus sigma t whole square and out of the question just check what formula has been given what information has been given for the value of n it is 4 ty which is given in the question is 734 now we need sigma t which is not given in the question so first here we'll find out sigma t as the number 4 is given so t sigma t is the total of t column if you remember the t column is just an ascending number 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the t column and the total of t will be our sigma t. That is 1 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10. So our sigma t will be 10. The next we need is t square. 1 1s are 1, 2 2s are 4, 3 3s are 9, 4 4s are 16. The total of this column will be a sigma t square and it would be 30 if you get them total you will get the answer 30 so now let's keep them into the formula sigma t is 10 sigma y which is given in the question that is 270 divide by n 4 sigma t square that is 30 minus sigma t that now we found is 10 whole square now 4 into 734 here we get 2936 minus 10 into 270 that is 2700 4 into 30 that is 120 
and tan into 10 that is 100. Get them subtract. Here we will get 236 divided by 20 the minus of 120 and 100. So here we get the final answer 11.8 for B. The next we need here we find out B. Now next we need is A. And the formula of A is y bar minus b t bar now here we need is the information of y bar and t bar now to find out the y bar we need a sigma y upon n sigma y which is given in the question is 270 divided by n n is 4 if you remove the calculation of this you will get 27.5 the next we need is t bar that is sigma t upon n this is 67.5 sigma t here we got is 10 divided by 4 the answer is 2.5 so here we have the y bar value and t bar value. Let's skip into the formula. Y bar value is 67.5 minus b that we got 11.a and t bar 8 and t bar is 2.5. So 67.5 keep as it is. Get them multiply. You will get 29.5. And if we get them subtract, we get 38. So here we get the value of B as well as the A. So now we can find out the linear equation of train that is Y cap is equal to A plus B T. So first we'll keep the value of A that is 38 plus B that is 11.8 T. Moving to the next question. Question number 11. The data collected about the demand of a commodity from a store are as follow. Find the trend using the monthly moving average. So here three monthly moving address we are going to use. So take the month and demand. So all three matters has been done in the section D. Here I kept the month, demand, time is just an ascending number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now for the three month monthly moving total we just need the set of 3 that is 15 plus 16 plus 18 hope you remember ki 3 ke set mein center wala jo number hota hai wahan pe aapko number likhna hai so the total of this we get 49 next 3 set will be 16 plus 18 plus 18 and the total is 52 next 3 set 18 plus 18 plus 23 here we get 59 the next three set is 18 plus 23 plus 23 and here we get 64 the last three set 23 plus 23 plus 20 and the answer is 66 average trend is just in division with the three numbers as we are using three monthly moving total and here average trend just divide 49 with 3, you will get 16.33. The next 52 divide by 3, here we get 17.33. The next 59 divide by 3, that is 19.67. Next take 64 divide by 3, here we get 21.33. The last one 66.3, uh, sorry 66 divide by 3, you will get the answer 22. Next, we'll start with the section E. 